For ages, our connection with fire was grounded in stories and safety. Without it, we were not the apex of the dark. Hunting! <laughs> with it, we stood a chance as nature becomes alive around us. Looks a lot like a lion track, but the leopard track is much more round. By first light, clues and tracks reveal the secrets of the night. The whole of the Okavango Delta is filled with these tracks of mystery. Mysteries that turn into stories, a language of wilderness we have forgotten. A story that forces you to slow down to a speed where wilderness can speak to all your senses. It pulls you into the primitive pattern of nature. Whispering a language that connects us with the heartbeat of the African soil. Following a track teaches us patience, observation, curiosity and respect for the land we walk on. These clues are a narrative of movement and the natural order of things in a language that's been spoken for millennia. It teaches your imagination to feel an animal in this space passing through time. This is what following your curiosity is all about in nature's classroom. Helping you to stay on the path of your imagination to find what you are looking for. And then, when you reach it, nature brings us back into an appreciation for the small things that made the process of finding it so significant. And as the light dims and the sky turns to gold, all of nature celebrates the day. More stories made through movement and written with tracks in the soil. Families huddle as they prepare for rest and others for the hunt. It's a time of pure anticipation. Sitting around the fire, the darkness becomes a canvas for our dreams yet again. Looking up at the night sky, I hear the ancient stories of time captured in a blanket of stars. My senses reawakened, the darkness shines a new light on my connection with this wild place. A place that needs our protection. A place that makes us curious about our own story and how to follow it. <laughs>